everyone, it's Cameo bringing your snow update on June the 20th. And Australians were renowned for being... He's the guy that discovered Australia, but ordinary. This Australian team is a team. Good morning everyone, it's Cameo bringing your snow update on June the 24th and what a stunning morning it is to be up here on Mount Buller. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Well actually, partly cloudy conditions have been forecast today through Friday, but at the moment there is not a cloud to be seen in the sky, so it's going to be wonderful if it stays like this till Friday before the snow returns on the weekend. A lot of activity overnight with the groomers preparing the powder on Burke Street 1, we have got some nice straight stretches to enjoy throughout the day. Eight lifts will be turning, including Summit, which is very exciting. Cobbler's also open, so you can have some real fun on runs like Boomerang, Family Run, as well as Shoot. So get out there today. The conditions are superb. Back to you, Amanda. You may be familiar with the term Dibba Dobba, and Australians were renowned for being a nation of non-dobbers. But with the installation of dashboard camcords, a little more is being captured than people would like to share publicly. Now, failure to abide to common courtesy on the roads may just catch up with you. Statistics have shown an increase in near miss accidents due to carelessness, disrespect, and a sense of entitlement on the roads. But now these reckless drivers can be captured with substantial footage, registration number, make and colour of the car involved. This may just bridge the gap and make our roads in Australia safer. This is Cameo Turner reporting. You are looking at the oldest house in Australia. Built in 1775, this is the cottage of Captain James Cook's family. But it hasn't always been in Australia. This house was originally in Yorkshire, England. Now you probably know who Captain Cook is. He's the guy that discovered Australia, although there's been some debate about that. Anyways, moving on. It's an interesting story about why this house ended up in Australia. But first, why don't we go inside and see how differently people lived in the 1700s? Look at that. It's tiny, but every bit of space is critical. From where he planned his journals, to the bedroom, to where he ate his food, Oh, and I think I can spot over there his bookshelf with all his journals are. Fascinating, isn't it? Join me after the break where the journey really begins, and I'm going to show you just why and how this house ended up in Australia. From the first check of the phone to a quick mess of the hair, 16-year-old Ben Pasternak's morning routine seems pretty normal. But he's anything but ordinary. This Australian teen is a tech tycoon. His brainchild is a new app called Flog, which makes buying and selling items within your social network as simple as swiping right. Think Tinder meets eBay. He has attracted the interest of some major corporate sponsors who have started to pour money into developing and marketing his app. This reaction has enticed Ben out of school and into the skyscrapers of New York City where he's hoping to become his generation's Mark Zuckerberg. Today, Flog is creating some strong competition amongst some of the giants. And I'm not talking about Facebook or Instagram, rather Amazon or Jet. Today, I met up with Ben, who is visiting his family back in Melbourne to find out how it all began. Mm -hmm. 